I'd like to introduce to you now Major General Asghar Nawaz, who is the uh, Nash, who is the head of the National Disaster Management Authority in Pakistan. Thank you so much. For thank you. Thank us. you. Thank you. Given the problems that Pakistan is facing in terms of climate change and natural disasters, what will you be putting forward to the summit? Well, uh, you must understand that the world has moved on since 2015. Like last year, we have that uh, Sendai framework, then the Sustainable Development Goals framework coming in, which ultimately uh, uh, concluded to the Paris Climate Change uh, Agreement. And uh, now this first humanitarian summit, we feel that the world is moving on. And in the respect of that you are sensitized about all the challenges which are being faced, especially by the country like us, we always find that such summits, conference and meetings bring the people together. And we always have a starting point, as you said so, to move forward and have a very forward-looking approach. It's easy to make sweeping statements about how climate change is affecting the world, natural disaster, millions of people displaced. But from a grassroots and someone who is on the ground in Pakistan, what are the kind of everyday problems that people there are facing due to climate change? Well, it is a reality. It presents a very clear danger. We are passing through it. We used to say in our childhood that we have four seasons. And now those four seasons are merging almost into two seasons. The winters giving way to summers and summers giving way to, to winters. And there is no transition in between. Uh, we have faced in the last one decade, apart from uh, you know two mega disasters in 2005, although that was a geological um, a disaster in form of uh, the earthquake. But 2010 onward, when we faced those uh, super floods in Pakistan, every year we have recurrent floods or hydrometeorological disasters. Uh, and from 2011 to 2016, we, uh, 2015, we have had a price tag of over 8 billion US dollars, which has damage caused by this. And you must uh, know that the disasters, they negatively impact on the socio-economic fabric of the society. Uh, we have named a disaster coming out of a climate change, floods on one side, uh, the massive landslides, especially in our northern areas, the avalanches, uh, the drought affecting us in our southern seam. Uh, and all this give rise to, especially in the development perspective, uh, it aggravates the poverty, it, it aggravates the, the, the development of our new generation. And just quickly, Mr. Nawaz, because we are running out of time, uh, how do you think do you think that this summit will achieve anything for your cause? Uh, I think so that from the starting point, this summit is a very good effort because it is all encompassing in the respect that we are going to talk over here. And we have just started. Uh, as for my part of the climate change and uh, disaster management related aspects, there are commitments which are very tangible, they are aligned to the realities and towards that end I can say so that uh, we can see a positivity coming out of it. Mr Nawaz, thank you so much for joining us. And Mr Nawaz is just one of many people, in fact 6,000 people, who are at this summit. And the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said that the success of this summit will not be judged by how many billions of dollars are raised or how much people are prepared to spend, but by the actions that people are prepared to take. Asha. Okay, Natasha X will be live in Istanbul at the World Humanitarian Summit. Thank you.